What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and we're glad to have you back. Today's topic, I've actually been working on for a really long time now, trying to make the perfect video for it, but to be honest, I've been struggling. Now, MagSpoof's been around for a while. There's tons of other videos around, but now that it's finally available on the Flipper, I really wanted to try it out. I have literally spent weeks on this. I mean, I've tried so many different readers. I've tried different cards. I've tried different settings. I mean, I've tried everything, and I'm still at a loss. Now, I know it's possible. I've seen Astro, who sent me the mag spoof, and I've seen Magic do this before. The Rabbit's done it. A few other people have pulled this off, but I just can't seem to get it working reliably. What I can do is some really wacky stuff. I can't even wrap my head around what's going on, so I figured at least at this point, it'd be kind of a fun thing to show you guys my progress. So this video is not going to be one of those smooth, polished videos where I go through every step and everything works. No, this video is going to be watching me ride the struggle bus. I'll show you all the wacky things that are going on, and I do need your help to help me figure out why these things are happening. So buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Let's go. All right, so quick rundown on what we're using today. So this is going to be the mag spoof board from Astro. Um, link down below for the shop if this will ever focus. Here we go. Really good silk screening on it. It's a super cool board. I scratched it a little bit, but I don't think that's actually causing me any issues, but super cool board. And of course, if you'd like to grab one of the Flipper Zero mag spoof modules for yourself, just head on over to Astrowave Electronics. That's Astro's web store on Tindy and use the code flip squatch for 15% off. From there, we have our MSR90. So this is a MagStripe reader. This is the one that almost everybody seems to have success with. I have limited results. I'm going to show you what goes on with it. But that's one of my cards. I also have this other one. What is this guy? It's supposed to be a, I don't know, run mall magnetic swipe reader. Even this thing's crap. It doesn't work. I'm getting rid of it. Never want to see that one again. I can't scan anything with it. And for testing purposes, we have this Visa gift card. There's no money on it. It's expired. It has nobody's name on it. I do cover up the numbers and we're going to go through and cover up the numbers when they get scanned through, but there's no information. Don't even bother trying. It's just a card. All right. So let me plug in the reader and let me show you what's going on because this is really wacky. All right. So we're going to split screen between desktop and uh, the overhead so that you can see what's going on. I've got notepad open right here. And when I scan this, it should scan the card, but it doesn't want to. I can kind of like, there we go. If you do it just right, you can get it to go. There we go. And it only scans one channel. There are three channels on this card. Actually, I think there's two channels that actually have data on them, but it only reads one. Furthermore, I've got this other card here and this one. There we go. It's really, really hard to get it to scan. No matter what I do on my PC, I can't get this to scan well. However, if I plug it into my laptop, I can get way different results and it's even weirder from here. All right, so I got my old laptop set up right here and we open up. If we open up Notepad, I'm trying to make sure I don't you know, talk out of the microphone and I run this, it scans. But it doesn't scan as well as it could and I'm still only getting the one track. It's still kind of hard and I'm still struggling with it. So it's really weird. Now, that's not the weird part. Check out the weird part. All right, incoming weird part. Unplug the computer from power. So right now I just pulled the plug, the power plug out, right? And now we grab our same card right here and it scans way easier and it's getting two tracks out of it. As soon as I unplug the power from it, I get two tracks. I don't understand what's going on. So let's go to the mag spoof and let's see what that does. Okay, so now I've got my flipper. I've got Q flipper open and pulled it up over there. So we've got, yeah, just the mag spoof board. It's running, it's got five volt on because it's plugged in. Um, so we're just going to go to the saved cards, going to go to the Sammy example image. We're going to change, go to emulate. We're going to change the configuration to just track two because it seems to only really work with track two. There we go. So that's good there. And if we sit here and send, it's a little tricky, but let's see if we can get it to send. You can see it's going. There it goes. Oh, now I've got random track data. That's so weird. That's actually completely different than what's been going on before. Um, let me pick another, uh, took the expired card, emulate, send. Let's see if we can get this one to send. Oh wait, hold on, tracks one, track two, back, send. Let's see if we can get this one to work, all right. One week later. All right, so I had to unplug and replug the reader, and now, is it gonna work? It's, it, 
There we go. Here we go. Now we have two. We got the entire uh, track coming out. It works now. I don't understand what's going on. It's the strangest freaking thing. But as soon as I plug it back in, it won't work. So give me one second. I'll plug it back in and we'll see what happens. All right, we're plugged in again, right? So I'm going to extend track data. See if we can get it in the exact right spot so I can hold it and it works. Yeah, it just refuses to work when it's plugged in. I'll unplug it real quick. Unplug. And then... There it goes. So I can do it over and over again. I'm going to hold this very steady, right? Super steady. Still works? Still works. Holding steady. Ah, dropping stuff. We're plugged back in in the exact same position and send. It's nothing. It doesn't work when my laptop's plugged in. Why? This doesn't make any sense. So yeah, you can see why I've been struggling with this for so long. I really don't know what to do. I can't get my PC to work really at all with MagSpoof. I can only get my laptop to work when it's unplugged from power. Maybe there's a weird power management setting that I don't know about. I just don't. I can't figure it out. As anybody who's worked with me on any of these videos researching stuff, you know that I don't give up easily. I mean, we spent a while figuring out how to hack Wi-Fi. Um, we spent a while figuring out mouse jacking. I mean, that was kind of almost lucky that that worked, but we made it work. I don't like to give up on things, so that's why I'm asking you for help. To prove how dedicated I actually am to the project, I went out and got one of these. The problem is the real actual MagSwipe card readers, they require a whole bunch of middle software and there's no really good easy way to just debug with one and see how it reads cards. So unfortunately, even though I've got a whole actual card reader, it's completely useless until I can figure out some way to hack into it. I know Amelia's been working on this as well and she hasn't been able to get that working either. It's really just confusing why these things aren't working. Astro tested both of these cards when they went out. They worked when Astro used them, but when I try to use them, it's just fighting me on every single level. I do know that the rabbits got another mag spoof board out, but I'm still just convinced it's the reader. I don't know what's going on with the reader, but something's just not quite right. And I'm hoping somebody out there knows exactly what's going on. So yeah, if you have any idea what's going on, hit me up in the comments on Discord. I'm really easy to get a hold of, but I would love to know what's going on. So that's the state of mag spoof. As soon as I actually get everything working reliably, I'll have a full video, including how exactly mag stripes work, how the bypass like mechanisms work, which makes it so you don't need a chip. There's all sorts of cool stuff, but until I can get it working reliably, I didn't want to go through and make the whole video. But as soon as we do, it's going to be awesome. I'll do a full video, including how mag stripes work, how mag stripes can actually circumvent security features that make you run the chip, all sorts of cool stuff like that. But I just want it all working reliably so that I can have one buttoned up polished video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton, keeps things moving. So until then, we'll catch you next time.